Okay, doctor, whenever you are ready, if you could state for me your name and your credentials. My name is Dr. Jay Mahajan, and I am a board certified neurologist. Based on my professional opinion, I don't believe the car accident that took place prior to the fighter getting into the cage had anything to do with his injury sustained in the cage. If the patient had injuries to the severity that he was unable to get into the cage due to the car accident, then he likely wouldn't have been able to fight in the first place. Now, while some of the events that took place with the car accident may have been a prelude to him being more susceptible to injury, um, the fact that he's able to walk into the cage is evidence that likely what led to him being quadriplegic is what took place in the cage.